Hey friends of the twins, welcome back to our channel. This is Rhonda here and I wanted to come on and show you a quick little video of what I've been up to this spring and what I'm going to be up to this spring. And I'm going to start right over here. Now, some of you may have already seen, this is how I have my kitchen island decorated for the spring. Now, all of the floors that you're gonna see today were made by me. And I honestly, I really didn't have to buy a lot of these florals. I already had them stacked back and I made a promise to myself, probably uh, for beginning with the fall of last year, that I was gonna do more florals around the house because I really do enjoy playing around with flowers. And for me, flowers make a big impact. Like if I wanted to stop here, you know, I could simply just decorate this island and this would be plenty enough here in this kitchen. So, and now I almost forgot to show y'all this one and this is the latest one. I actually made this one yesterday. But this one is going to Shonda's house and I've already delivered it to her and she was happy with it. So that's good. But um, for Shonda's arrangement, now I did buy those. If you've ever gone into the Hobby Lobby and you've seen those giant flowers that they have that stand, it seems like they're about three, four feet tall. But that's exactly what those lime green ones are. Of course, I had my husband to cut the stems down for me with his saw. But... Um, you will see this arrangement again very soon over at Shonda's house. And this is what I've been up to. And let me show you a little bit over here of what I'm going to be up to. You're going to see these items again really soon. So be on the lookout for that video. But these are just some pretty spring colors. And I picked these up at Michael's. It is um, egg garlands. I got two of those. And I also bought some pretty spring ribbon. And now I'm going to confess, I am not the best bow maker. I am watching videos and trying my best to learn how to make better bows. And this one got stepped on. <laughs> so I'm going to be straightening it out. But I do, I did want to share it with you. And I want you to be on the lookout. And you'll see what I'm going to do with that. And next, we're going to move right on over here. And I have it laying across this chair. Just, you know, I didn't have anywhere else to put it to include it in the video. But I did want to share with y'all, look at this beautiful spring runner that I found. I got it at a thrift store. I think I paid too much for it because this thing was $21. And you can just about get them, you know, you can get them brand new for that. But what I liked about it, of course, was the scenery, the bunnies and all of that, and also the colors of it. The colors are so vivid and, and bright. And so that's what made me go ahead and jump the gun and uh, purchase this spring runner. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, uh, you know, do with it yet, but I think I've told you before, when I see things that I like, I'll go ahead and get them because you know, if I don't know what I'm going to do with it right then, believe it when I tell you that, you know, something comes up. And I'll, so I'll definitely find a use for it. And now we're going to move right on over here to this floral. Now, this is one of my latest ones. This was used recently uh, for a spring tablescape. And I will leave that video linked down in the description box. But yeah, I use this as the centerpiece for that tablescape, for my spring, one of my spring tablescapes. And then I wanted to show you guys these four mugs. These are our recent purchase and they are vintage. And look at the colors on them. Oh, they are so beautiful. So there you see um, this green color. That is my spring color, just like what I had on the island. So when I saw these, I loved them. Who, who doesn't love lemons? But uh, I also love that pretty green color. Okay, and now we're gonna move on around here. This is also from a recent spring tablescape of mine. And 
I'm gonna leave this video linked also. This is the tablescape or the centerpiece for the tablescape that I used in my sunroom. And look at that. I got two little bunnies here. This one here is kind of nestled down in there. And, you know, I get tickled at myself because the thing with the ribbon, the excessively long ribbon, it really wasn't to make any kind of statement or to be dramatic with it. I'm gonna be really honest with y'all and tell you that I just simply did not want to cut my ribbon. So that is how it ended up being so long. And I kind of like it. I do that a lot. I just kind of go with the flow of things. I like to have fun when I'm decorating and I do not take myself too seriously at all. And here we have just a little nest of eggs there. And this centerpiece is from a collaboration that I participated in. It was called the Go Red for Heart Health collab collaboration. And I use this as the centerpiece. Now this is a model of a steam engine. And when I bought it, friends, I didn't even know what it was. I kept saying a tractor and my, my husband was like, babe, I think that's a steam engine. But um, this is just another example of when I say I truly, you know, I buy the things that I like or that I love, and then I figure out what I'm gonna do with them. So I've been really happy, believe it or not, with my steam engine. And, you know, sometimes things don't, I can't automatically say that they fit my decor style or what I've got going on right then around the house. But with this item here, I feel like with me adding the flowers to it, that it definitely brought it into, you know, what I'm kind of my decor style around the house. Now the red flowers can easily be substituted and you can use, really, you know, you can use any color flowers you like. But I just wanted to show you how I love taking, you know, non-traditional or unique items and incorporating them. But really, all it is, is just buying the things that you love. So here's another little overview. And this, the Go Red for Heart Help tablescape was back in February. And I just haven't had the heart, you know, to take the flowers off. I, If I do take them off, I'm gonna go with a more neutral flower, maybe all white or some of this citron green that I'm using for spring. But I really do love, you know, I love seeing the flowers on it. So I'm going to be keeping the flowers on it. And I just kind of pulled all of my flower, flower arrangements that I've made this spring. I just kind of put them all here in the kitchen just for the video's sake. But this one here is going to be going back to my table down in my sunroom. And this one is gonna be staying right here on this table. Now, I did wanna tell you, um, when I make tablescapes, when I put together tablescapes, typically they do not stay up any longer than the shooting of the video. Now, especially with this table here, we don't eat at the table every night, but at least once, maybe twice a, a week, my husband, myself, and my daughter, we eat together and they get kind of irritated with me if this table is set. So, you know, I, I typically take down tablescapes. When you see me do tablescapes, I take them down that same night. I will leave the centerpiece, but everything else goes back to storage. All right, friends, I just wanted to share, share those things with y'all. And like I said, these bright, eggs and all over here be on the lookout for that i'm gonna have something to show you you know that i've done with that really soon as always friends you make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short and thanks so much for watching